canine supremacy, C. Dog worship, cluster B. Personality disorders. Cluster B disorders are marked by inappropriate, volatile emotionality and often unpredictable behavior. The disorders in cluster B are antisocial personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, and narcissistic personality disorder. Cultivated identity. The shaping of a person's beliefs, values, practices, and knowledge. Influenced both by cultural systems and by individual actions in attempts to create, enhance, or maintain the views about oneself. Synolatry, worship of dogs. Synophobia, a label intended to be hurtful and dismissive that is often thrown at us in a futile attempt to mock or invalidate our valid fears, aversions, concerns, and natural negative associations regarding dogs. Dog-averse individual, someone with common sense, who has a natural aversion to dogs. Dog culture industrial complex, aka the enemy. Dog enabler, someone who enables these creatures. It is exactly what it sounds like. Dog nutter, a dog fanatic, a lunatic. There are various varying definitions, but one I saw on Reddit is Dog nutter is used to refer to any individual who idolizes dogs to the point of insanity, so much so that it harms other people. Personally, I would add, and so much so that it harms themselves as well. Dog nut ideologue, a person who is severely mentally compromised on the subject of dogs, likely by some facile matter of personal identity. They are a dog person to their core, and there is no fixing or helping them. Although, I should probably add, that people have actually awoken from their dog-induced delusion. I have seen several testimonies on my own channel. Dog-originated aggression, natural aggression and hostility coming from a damn dog. Dog Dog-rationalist, an alternative to dog-hater. House Gremlin, an indoor domestic dog. Inferior rats, basically dogs. See also giant rodents. Or alternatively, barking rats, which is what I sometimes call them. But in all fairness, that is an insult to rats. Dogs are vastly inferior to rats, and all rodents, so inferior rats works best. Leash goblin or leash gremlin. A dog on a lead, or leash, that's being shitty in public, which many dogs always are, at any given time, all around the world. Logical fallacy. You'd be shocked how prevalent this is. Fallacies are common errors in reasoning, that will undermine the logic of your argument. Misanthropy, a dislike or hatred of humankind. Note, this is not required to be a dog owner, dog person or dog nutter, but it is very strongly correlated with dog nuttery. It is almost a requirement to be a dog nutter and an edgelord who hates other humans. Misopedia, a hatred of children, goes along with misanthropy. Should not be confused with child-free or antinatalism, but this seems to be a common error, conflation, and there can be some overlap, adding to the confusion. Misophonia, supposedly a disorder in which certain sounds trigger emotional or physiological responses that some might perceive as unreasonable given the circumstance. This makes barking, an already noxious and most odious noise, worse by several orders of magnitude. Mutant, this means a dog, mutt. This refers to any dog, whether it is purebred or whatever. Mutt maggot, a baby dog, a puppy, a dog's offspring. Narcissist, a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves, has an inability or unwillingness to recognize the needs and feelings of others. No, not all narcissists are dog nutters, and not all dog nutters are narcissists. But once again, there is a strong correlation overlap between dog worshippers and traits highly suggestive of narcissism. Nihilism, a broad definition is the belief that all values are baseless and that nothing can be known or communicated. Personally, I think it's too broad, and I don't know how widespread the belief that nothing can be known or communicated is. Moral nihilism is simultaneously kind of a joke, but at once a potentially very dangerous idea. Obsolete farm equipment. A clever way someone referred to dogs once, I think it was on IHD's channel. The Parasite King. This refers to the terrible and abominable dog subspecies, stench hound, what I sometimes call dogs. A variation of the popular crap hound, or crap beast, or shit beast, and others. Most often seen on the dog-free subreddit, 
Vermin or varmint. This means a dog or dogs, plural. Wingless vulture, also a dog. Worthless mutt. Again, this means dog, any dog, whether purebred or not. This is a common way to refer to these vermin. Zophile, a disgusting degenerate. Zusadist, most frequently a dog owner. Also, this is a frequently used attempt at a slander against the anti-dog community, likely initially initiated by the wretched likes of a.k.a. a broken clock, or possibly some other contemptible cretin. If you want to support this content and see more of it, please like and subscribe. If you hate this content and want to fight for weird predator parasites, oh yeah, no. and if you're an ally, don't be an asshole. Try to be the